Hillestad Child. I dreamt I had a Norwegian daughter who came as cleanly out of my body as an oiled gird. She lay ready wrapped in crisp cotton, her fledgling face closed as a white pillows, her mouth as sulkily serious as that of an intent cat. I gazed at her, this foreign thing, safely swaddled in the awning of this upstairs room. Then we were below and Margrethe and Torleif stared hard at me and asked, what do you want? I was 21 with troubles enough, so I said, give her to someone who look after her. I turned over with the thought of her at 14, having grown up in a land of winter dark, sheaves of sharp trees and fading soothes of snow. Her voice would sound to me the musical staccato of that Nordic tongue I don't understand. I'd swing past the yearly shock of her birthday, think of her only as a pale figure moving like a legend round the edges of memory. If we were to meet, I couldn't even greet her with her name. And what would she call me? A poor excuse for a woman to abandon a child and remain barren. I drifted from that silky morning with its bubble of false promise, grateful that the wherefores of my decisions are safe with me, will not be offered for her perusal. <laughs>